Righto roof shooters, so what I've done is I've gone out and found myself a uh, little Norweld punt. I uh, got it fairly cheap due to a deceased estate, bloke's not using it anymore. Um, it's got a very solid hull, it's not as light as the Stasis and the Quintrexes uh, of this size. Um, set of new tyres, they're pretty broken up. It's got an old school Mercury 10 horsepower motor, they assured me it goes, but what I said, I'll take it as a going concern if they drop the price to what I asked, and they were well, no troubles in doing that. It's got an old electric in there, but she assures me that had had it. Uh, nothing a bit of cleanup won't fix. Anchor, you got your basics, but a little bit of safety. They're probably pretty old now to date. The bungs are in a container over in the edge there. Um, but it's got this big on in far north Queensland. These sort of decks are quite popular a checker plate deck that drains automatically yeah mate um so anyway this is the start of it settle down this is the start i guess it's probably an early 90s motor 10 horsepower so it'll push the boat along no dramas it's got a gal trailer which has no real rust in it um, quite a long drawbar too, I guess for the, the steep ramps and that around here and the pretty big tides. As you can see underneath, it's not too bad, eh? I can't see any cracks or dings or anything in it. It shouldn't let water in. Like I said, it, they're quite thick sides on these things, on these Norwell punts. Um, stick it here, little Norwell. So look. This is stage one of a boat that I've just purchased really cheap, really cheap. A um, little flat bottom, I've got leftover plywood and marine carpet from my last one I did on my boat. So I've got plenty of bits and pieces to shine it up, get it going, put a false floor in it. And I'll just do a, a, a daily, well not a daily, but a, every couple of days vlog to just let you know how I'm going with it. What do you reckon, Mark? Hey? Alright, yeah, I've got another one of these uh, winches in there. It's got a, it's a strap rather than the wire, the wires will stick into you if they braid. I've got my tinny still, so this is not a replacement, this is just a project while I was, I'm not at sea or as busy as I normally am. Different size tyres at the moment, I'll go tomorrow, get some new tyres, grab some bearings. I've still got a $200 VCF gift voucher that was given to me for doing some electric work on a house, so that'll come in handy to refurbish this. But yeah. No real meat off the prop. Prop's pretty good. <laughs> Your beauty. It's a great little boat. Not a lot of freeboard. Um, but that's fine. We'll work with that, eh? We reckon. Doggo. Alright. Thanks very much. We'll catch us later. So I just cracked the top off. It is beautiful condition for the age of the motor. I'll pull the plugs out and check what they're like. Get a new set, whack them in anyway. I've checked the fuel filter. The bowl, it's clean as a whistle. Um, it looks really good condition. The, the gentleman that's owned it has taken very good care of it. So that's fantastic news. Um, just have a look in there. Uh, a little bit of red dust, so he's been up north with it at times. Probably a rooftop or something like that. But I certainly can work with that. We'll take the stickers off, polish the cowling, give it a nice new black coat of paint. And uh, that'll come together really nice.